What is going on everyone? It's Taylor Nicole tuning in with another video with you guys once again. Now, today I really want to touch on a topic of how so many women right now are financially in survival mode. Okay, financially they are in survival mode. And the reason why I wanted to touch on this topic is because I actually ran across a video of a woman um, that I'm actually going to share later on of her kind of basically crying on TikTok about just how financially stressed out she is and she's working all these jobs and just nothing is really seeming to uh, help with her being able to really provide for herself and not be worried about bills and it's just I'll, I'll share that video with you guys in a second right but here's what I want to say long gone are the days where you can work one little regular job and make it. Oh baby, those days are gone. Those days are gone and the girlies are feeling it, all right? And the men too, so if you're a man watching this, this applies to you as well. Long gone are the days where you can work a little, a little, you know, nine to five job that doesn't really require much skill, that doesn't really require much thinking, you know, long gone are those days you can work those type of jobs and just have one of those jobs and still make it. There used to be a time, right, where you could have a, a little job at a, at, a, at a factory place, right, and or, or manufacturing place or what, wherever. And that job would, would help you to actually live a, a pretty decent life. My grandfather actually worked for Fords, right? So uh, I, I'm originally from Michigan, the, the Detroit area. And so my grandfather worked at Fords and he made a lot of money for that time, right? And, and, and that was, that used to be a thing where you can get those type of jobs and you can make a lot of money and you could live a decent life. Well, those days are officially over. That's not the case anymore. All right, you can't just go and get some little regular rinky dink nine to five and make it anymore. And I think that we're living in a time now where people are finally realizing that, oh, whoa, like, like I for real have to figure something out. And so back to what I was saying, a, a lot of women now who, especially if, you, if you're single, right? And, or sometimes you have women who aren't single. They have a man, but they have a very sorry of excuse of a man who's not providing or taking any burden off her um so a lot of women now are are struggling financially they're trying to make it they don't you know and and what's what's worrisome right is that we have a lot of the young girls right who are feeling this pressure as they step out into this world and they try to be an adult and you know take care of responsibilities right unfortunately you know you know a lot of our young girls are not coming from homes where they have fathers and or parents uh that's us you know helping them financially so they they're going out there on their own trying to figure things out and it's rough and so you have a lot of these young girls who are resorting to things like only fans and things like that and the sad part about it is i get why they do those things right i'm, I'm not somebody that's sitting here judging them like oh my gosh you're a horrible person why would you do like i 100 percent get why you would want to do that because it logically with like if I was somebody that didn't have any dignity if I was somebody who wasn't a believer and I had no self-respect I could see myself like logically like oh it makes perfect sense I you know upload some feet pics get paid 40 grand a month easy too easy right <laughs> uh um but but you know fortunately I am somebody that has dignity in a relationship with God and self-respect so I would never do that but I get why some of these younger girls do it because I mean they're they're lost, right? And and this just makes more sense to them. But I, I ran across I ran across a TikTok video and I want to share this with you. And then we're going to kind of dive into what she's talking about. And then I'm gonna share with you, well, what can we do about this? What what like if you're in this situation, right? What are the next best steps for you to take in order to change that situation? Okay. And so I'm going to share this video with you guys. Um, just understand that there's cussing in this video. Okay. Um, and so there are some strong, there is some strong language in this video. Um, so my apologies ahead of time. I'm giving you full warning. So if you want to click off, you can do that now. 
um, but if you can kind of get past that and just get the message that would be great and so I'm gonna go ahead and actually I'm gonna pull that video up now and then uh, we'll talk about it anyone else feel like they're absolutely fucking drowning financially as a single 29 year old woman I just I have three jobs and I'm still fucking struggling and I'm just getting myself farther and farther into credit card debt because I don't have enough after the first of the month to avoid using it it just isn't working full-time job not doing it got a second job it's it's barely doing it the third job Hit or miss if I even get paid on time. I feel like I'm drowning and I don't know. I don't know what to do. So the reason why I wanted to share that is for one, it's something that hit me hard because I couldn't relate to that. I was I was there over a year ago, totally, you know, restarting my life and trying to figure out well what do i do next i was living in an apartment the rent went up i could not afford that right i had to move back home with with mommy right and try to figure things out and you know i knew i needed to make some type of pivotal and crucial and critical change uh so that i would not continue to feel this distress and this pressure okay and so um you know she says she has three jobs right like first of all that's insane like that's one job is enough two jobs is pushing it three jobs that's insane and it's not healthy and as a woman it's definitely not healthy for you because it's like you know your femininity is important your self-care is important your health is important your mental your mental health is important your emotions are important and it's very hard for you as a woman to nurture yourself and nourish yourself i should say um when you're you're in survival mode like this right when you're running around like a, a chicken with your head cut off you know trying to juggle three jobs like that's that's absolutely it's it's insane and i really feel for her that she she feels like that's what needs to be done in order for her to make it now this is kind of going back to one of my previous videos now remember when i told you guys to stop the side hustles right remember when i told you guys that regular nine to fives they're not going to cut it anymore okay um you know this is a like what we're experiencing right now and the in the economy there is a major shift there is a major shift and we're right in the middle of it and people are feeling it i feel it you probably feel it. Everybody's feeling it, right? But nobody's really talking about, well, what what do we do in this ship? And I don't want to say nobody's talking about it. I believe people are talking about it. I think that there's just not enough people that's paying attention because we're we're too worried about what Cat Williams said on Shannon's podcast, right? And your life is falling apart. Okay. And so what needs to happen? Well, what what type of shift is happening is what we need to ask ourselves what is the shift well the shift is is now there is no more room for mediocrity there's no more room to have mediocre skills right and do a mediocre job okay and have a decent life there's no room for it anymore unless you want to be poor and struggling for the rest of your life sure Go right ahead, have at it. I won't stop you. But I'm telling you right now that the only way to really profit from this shift that we're seeing is you're going to have to hone in and you're going to have to get disciplined and you're going to have to make sacrifices. And you're going to have to learn a high paying skill. You're going to have to find out how do I add value to this new market? Because the days are over when you can go to a job and, and bull crap all day and do practically nothing or do something that, that doesn't really require much thinking or much skill and make it. 
those days are gone. Those days are over. Okay? So you have to now, you have to make yourself into somebody who brings uh, extreme value. High value to these companies. High values to the marketplace. Some people don't understand, oh, why, why are you talking about tech now? This is why. This is why. Do you know that as a life coach, there were so many women I had to turn down that I could not coach because they couldn't afford to even, they couldn't afford to even sit down with a life coach and, get, and fix their lives. They couldn't even afford to get the therapy that I knew that they needed. They couldn't afford it. They were so financially strapped. I don't think people understand how important it is to have money to 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 get out of of this this place of just enough or barely enough because that, as a woman you know it really puts you at a disadvantage when it comes to especially if you're a woman that's broken and you know you need healing you know you need help you can't even afford to do that you gotta you gotta try to watch some YouTube videos get over to, to, to put a band-aid on those wounds right where do we go from here right where do we go from here how can we get some of these women like her who are 29 and they're single or you're 35 and you're single or you're 40 and you're single or maybe you're 40 and you're married and you got a no good guy who's just dead weight Okay, or maybe he's not dead weight and y'all just are falling on bad time. I, I don't know your personal situation, but where do we go from here? How can we position ourselves to make sure that we're not in situations like the video of the girl on TikTok that I just showed you? Three jobs I want you to look into. Three tech jobs I want you to look into. Three of them. That if you put in the work, you can pivot into these roles this year. Do you understand? We're in February. You still have plenty of time that if you put in the work, you can pivot into these roles this year because I'm telling you the days of working regular nine to fives and doing all these side hustles. First of all, side hustles are about to get replaced by robots. Those little DoorDash and Ubers, oh, they're making robots to start delivering food now. So that's about to be a wrap for a lot of people. What are you going to do? Because this is important. This is We're talking about the quality of your life, right? So here are three jobs you can look into, right? Three tech jobs that will put you on a path to start making high six figures. You won't make that at first. But if you stick the, to the course and you put in the work, you will get there. Number one, tech sales. That's what I do, okay? sell software to other companies selling is a high value skill a lot of people do not know how to sell many people are afraid to know how to sell because they're intimidated by it but i'm telling you if you learn how to sell okay you can create a very very good life for yourself and actually women are kind of better at selling than men sorry guys if you're watching this and you're a guy i'm sorry but we we kind of are we kind of are okay number two ux design now, this is a little cute role for you as a woman, okay? Selling can, for some women, they, just, they don't like selling, right? They don't want to be in the hunter role. They don't want to be making cold calls. I get it, okay? But UX design, I think that's a cute feminine role, a nice high-paying skill that you can learn this year and that you can pivot into this year so that you can get your finances in check, okay? Because we we want to live the soft life we don't want to be working three jobs like we don't want that one job is enough okay one job is enough so look into ux design okay the third one is qa automation okay qa automation all right now qa automation is a nice job to have especially for as a woman okay it does require a little bit more technical skills it does require a little bit of coding but not a whole lot all right um but it's a high paying role that you can pivot into this year if you put in the work and you make the sacrifice so i gave you three roles right three roles now two of those roles i have access to the boot camp in my 
description box. So if you're into tech sales or UX design, you can actually go into my description box, go to Course Careers, and they have a free intro course for those classes for you to look at it, understand it before committing to it, all right? I don't have a link for QA automation. I don't have any bootcamp for QA automation for you. So that one is something you're gonna have to do a little bit more due diligence on your own for you to look into that, okay? But these are all roles that you, as a woman or as a man, if you're in the same situation, you're a man, these are all roles that you can look into and, and you can pivot into these roles and in a year or less because gone are the days. Gone are the days, all right, of, of doing the bare minimum and making it. It's it's gone, guys. You got to work smarter because working harder is not, it ain't, it ain't working. It's not going to do it. There's no way you can really change your life working three jobs. You just can't. There's no time for you to think. There's no time for you to develop yourself. You're just exhausting yourself, okay? But that is what I wanted to share with you guys today. And I hope that this blessed you guys. And I hope that this resonated with who it needs to resonate with. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And I will see you in my next video.